Today will be the third day now that schools across the state will be closed, at least public schools. We've been speaking to teachers here. They tell us this is much more about just getting a raise. It's about getting help from the state to pay for the rising costs of premiums. Sure, you can give them a 3 or 4% raise, as the state did last week, except more is being taken out of their paycheck to pay for their benefits. So as you're about to hear, some teachers now have to find other sources of income. As a professional degreed teacher working two jobs, I qualified for WIC and food stamps, and we collected on the WIC. So that's how low teacher pay is here. You know, there were a lot of times where uh, we had to choose between groceries and, you know, health coverage for my family. So this isn't just an issue of a bunch of people squabbling over a little bit of insurance benefits or a little bit of pay. We are really in a bad place here. Okay, one potential solution, according to the teacher you just heard from, is perhaps establishing a dedicated tax that would help teachers shoulder the cost of these benefits. What's the state saying about this? Governor Jim Justice has not only signed that uh, 3 or 4% raise, but he's also admitted, yes, teachers are underpaid, and he says this is a step in the right direction, but the state just does not have enough room in the budget to pay for this. Finally, what about the 270,000 students across the state? They will be home again today for the third school day. Teachers recognizing that they do also struggle economically, at least many families. They actually sent homework and food with them on Wednesday before the strike began on Thursday.